A quick disclaimer before we get to the meat and bones of the speed paint. Um, for whatever reason, the video has a few visual glitches where it will twitch black. I'm not sure if it's because of the files being corrupted or if my Mac just has issues rendering the files. I'm hoping that is the former instead of being a hardware problem. Um, I don't really know. Um, but if this bugs you or you got visual triggers like epilepsy, then this might not be something you want to actively watch. Um, but instead just listen to me ramble about the piece. Um, I also haven't added background music due to not having a reliable EC2 access copy free, copyright free lo-fi music for these kinds of videos. Um, I'm also kind of just experimenting with a new format for videos and seeing what sticks and what doesn't. Um, on the very hard time constraints. So that's just kind of like the quick dirty of, of it. Um, let's just get right to the video. <sighs> Hanako-kun. Toilet bound Hanako-kun or Jibaku Shonen Hanako-kun. From my fellow Japanese only title anime friends um where do i even start talking about this one i like hanako but you might be wondering if you like hanako then why did you draw nene and to that i will say because it's a gift a gift to a person who identifies herself with nene more than i would like um i made the sketch for this piece back in february of last year and i remembered clearly i was experiencing one of my many highs um when i was sketching this out um, I was riding, riding that wave of excitement when you break through a really hard uh, roadblock, but for me that roadblock was quite literally an art block. Nothing up to that point made me feel excited about an idea or satisfied with how it turned out. I think I was going off on an art making spree of fan art and self-indulging things that made me feel kind of good at the time. And um, at the time me and uh, some friends um we started watching hanako-kun as a group uh during our skype calls mainly because my best friend and recipient of this art gift was hyping it up um danane showed us the trailer for it when it came out and i was caught by surprise by how much of a little shit hanako could be um nene also wasn't too interested in but you know she was just kind of there but to danane like it was seeing her her alter self on a moving paper and Pikmin kind of format. Like, Danane really connected heavily with Nene on a really deep emotional level. And um, to be fair, I kind of expected it since uh, it's Danane that we're talking about here. Because um, we're polar opposites in that kind of sense. But it was kind of um, endearing to see in, in a way. Uh, now, I haven't watched the entire thing. I only tuned in uh, when they wanted to watch it during Skype calls. Uh, sometimes I wasn't there or I was just caught up uh, toiling away at a fast approaching deadline for one of my college assignments um, in classes that I just couldn't afford to just take a break. Um, I would just like kind of like work on assignments while on Skype calls hanging out with my friends while they were just chatting away. Um, I think I saw up to like episode 8 before I trolled off. Um, so I'm not too sure what happens with Nene or Hanako-kun or that other blonde boy or the twin that Hanako has. I don't know. It's confusing for me. And I know many of you will tell me to finish watching it. But maybe I'll get to it once I finally get going on the huge backlog of anime and video games that I have to catch up on. Um, where was I again? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the piece before I continue waxing poet about my best friend and sister Danone. So I started um, the sketch, I did it off screen, and I really like how expressive and fluid Nen looked. So I went ahead and line outed, line arted it and cleaned up any rough edges or straight lines to have a crispy clean line art to color into. I then did a layer of uh, neutral gray tone to start off a color matching from her reference picture while taking a few liberties on the color as well as... Um, you know, just making sure that things were okay. Um, it might be weird for some of you guys viewing this peeping to start off with a gray tone, but let me explain. 
Uh, this technique is uh, a technique that oil painters use uh, to assess uh, value ranges in their composition. It's a technique called grisai, where essentially you make a black and white picture with um, with different varying shades to see what values you need to mix for your oil paints. Um, I am borrowing that same concept, but making sure that the colors I'm picking from the color bar to the side are not up in my face or if they are too dark. Um, it saves times that I do not want to spend using the color sliders to find that perfect color. It's just an easier way for me, but it also just happens that because I come from that traditional painting background, that this is a method that I go for. Um, I also have seen a lot of YouTube um, uh, Japanese artists use this technique to start building up their color values uh, as they work. Next you'll see me uh, start swatching colors from the reference and then I'll add more little blobs of color. These serve as uh, my shallow and highlight colors later to be used in the piece and I do end up using the same colors in other parts of the picture. After laying down base colors, I will go in with the shadow colors and begin blending to make a soft edge. Sometimes I will change up the layer effects to give me uh, different kinds of uh, lighting and blending situations like the eyes and the hair and the second shadows of the hair that you will see eventually. Um, to just kind of like bring the whole thing together. Once I'm satisfied with that, I will add highlights where it needs more emphasis or focal points to bring to bring the entire piece together. Um, I especially like to do that kind of thing with the eyes and quite frankly, I really love how the eyes came out in this piece. Um, they're so bright and glassy and it's just kind of um, those eyes that I really, really enjoy uh, making in general. Old school anime is our fault for this because uh, when they really need to go really, really hard on a scene to deliver like an emotional payoff or whatever, uh, they make their eyes super glossy and deep and uh, I don't know, I just I just think it's great. Look at that one scene from uh, Rurouni Kenshin where Kenshin says goodbye to Kaoru. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you know the, the scene, then you know exactly what I'm referencing. If you don't, then um, Google up on... Um, YouTube or um, just Google in general, the particular scene where um, Kenshin goes up to Kaoru to say that he's leaving and Kaoru's just like, she's, she doesn't want to let him go but she really can't say anything and they just have this scene at the lake and the entire scene itself is like 10 minutes long, I don't know, or maybe 5 minutes or 3 minutes, I don't really know, it was, it was a really like good scene but essentially like they, they focus on her as she's having the breakdown while he's telling her that he needs to go, he needs to leave, and they just have this scene where her eyes start glowing and like she's trying to hold back tears but she can't and then the tears just roll down her face. It's it's really, really good. Like you'll know that, that kind of eye like that kind of like lighting effect or just that glossy bright kind of eyes, yeah. That's the kind of eyes that I was going for. I digress though. Um, that kind of cheerfulness and expectation of someone walking in front of you, but being happy, but being happy spending time with you and also waiting for you to walk together. Yeah, that's the kind of nanny that I was going for for this one. Uh, maybe she's wondering for uh, waiting for Hanako-kun to catch up with her. Uh, Maybe she's asking him to treat her for another row of glazed donuts for doing whatever favor or job or whatever have you that he made her do. Um, I don't know. It, like, I don't know. It's just kind of like that thing where she's expecting someone to like follow her. Um, maybe you're Hanako-kun. Maybe you're just you looking at the really happy nene. I don't know. I just I think it's really good like a good way to engage the audience with the piece um but it does give me a good excuse to say that the nene i just described is how my dynamic with uh danane is um she's a cheerful one and quite frankly more of a cracker than i am but she's always down to have fun with me at any given moment and she is my best friend and sister so in a lot of ways she's been there providing advice and help when i need her the most she has also been there to tease me, and sometimes we butt heads, but that is still within the relatively normal exchanges between friends. So I'm okay with it. Um, 
she has walked in front of me but also like waited for me to catch up to her so we can walk together but also just generally enjoys my company and i really enjoyed hers um let me not even get started on how much of a clutch she has been uh, when i was super broken and depressed um if it wasn't for her then i don't know where i would be or how fucked up or bitter i would be but she really like helped me regain my footing and taught me how to look forward to better things in my life an eye opener if you will um but she uh like she has always been there for me and i know that she will be watching this when it releases and i know that she's gonna be crying about this or she's gonna tear up when she gets to this point though it's not my intention for her to cry but knowing how emotional she is she will probably cry <laughs> Anyway, this is a new format I'm going to be playing with for a few more weeks. Please let me know if this is a style you guys want to continue seeing on the channel. Um, patrons get access to the line art version of this drawing along with a high quality version of the fan art posted. They also get to see Speed Paints video one day ahead of the YouTube channel along with exclusive posts and updates directly from me. Updates mainly happen twice a month with more of a one-to-one -one talk giving them insights on future projects, thoughts, and other goodies. They also get discounts and their continued monthly support would go towards obtaining better recording equipment, capture cards for live streams, and art supplies. If you like what you see in terms of my artwork or thoughts, um, then please leave a comment or like. Those really help me on the long run. Your support in any way, shape, or form really helps me in the long run. And um, if you like to support me on Patreon, then please check out the link uh, below in the description box along with my other social media handles. Many thanks to my two current patrons. The next video will happen sometime next month in February, uh, though I'm not sure if I will have time to squeeze my one more within this month. Um, they get uh, Patrons also get another update uh, next week on Saturday, so please keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be all for me today. Um, I hope you guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next one.